Newzealand's Ross Taylor says Shikhar Dhawan not playing for India was a big loss for the team. Addressing a press conference on the eve of the match in Nottingham, he said, "Yeah, I haven't been in the bowling meetings, um, but obviously Shikhar is a, a big loss to India. Um, the presence he plays very well at um, ICC tournaments." Um, and has a very good record over here, but um, you know himself and Rohit Sharma have got a very good um, partnership, and, and I think they complement each other well because they're right and left-handed. But in terms of our lineup, I think you know we've we've had a similar balanced side for a long time, and and when you do have a right-left-hand combination, it does put pressure in different ways on the on the bowling opposition, and and when you know a lot of these grounds in, in the UK have a short boundary to one side and, and if you've got two right handers or two left handers you can't explore it as much where you know the obviously having the right and left hand um, and the communication becomes very important to to target those short boundaries and as we see there's traditionally a very short boundary here and um, you know if, if that is the case then uh, hopefully we can explore it with a right left hand as I'm sure India and, and other teams that are playing here will try. Dhawan suffered injury after being hit by a Pat Cummings delivery during his 109 ball 170 knock against Australia. The Black Caps have been absolutely ruthless in the three games they have played so far in the tournament. After defeating Sri Lanka by 10 wickets in their tournament opener, the Kiwis didn't put their foot on the paddle and registered comprehensive victories against Bangladesh and Afghanistan in their next fixture. India have won their first two matches against South Africa and Australia respectively. India will next face New Zealand at Trent Bridge on Thursday. INS Report